made it to Candlestick Park. I've never hiked that long. It's like more than a half marathon. I almost missed my turn. Oh my God. I like these, they're so pretty. My feet hurt so much, but I'm determined. Good morning! I'm super excited for today because I'm going to be attempting the Crosstown Trail. Of course, I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm at my desk because I'm just gonna do nothing too crazy. Just a little soothing morning get ready with me. I'm going alone today on the trail, but I have shared my location with a couple of friends. You know, just in case I get mugged. <laughs> but no, that's not gonna happen. This trail passes through a bunch of public parks across San Francisco and it's not very urban. Mainly just going to be in nature today. The Crosstown Trail is a 17 mile trail that begins in one corner of SF and ends at the opposite corner. The creators of this trail looked at all of the different public parks and trails in the city and then worked on a path to connect them for a fun day out. You can walk or bike the trail though there's different maps for it if you're doing biking instead and if you're interested you can find more information at crosstowntrail.org. There's also a sister trail called the Double Cross Trail that's newer, and it goes through more of the urban areas of SF, but today we're going to be exploring the original Crosstown Trail. I'm gonna do a light, like, no makeup makeup look, just so I have my sick of hair cream today. Today we're gonna keep it simple and just use glossy cloud paint. I used to use this every day. And then for lips, I'm just gonna go with a lip cream. Should I wear mascara? I feel like it's missing mascara, and I'm also afraid of becoming panda eyes by the end of the day. I think I'm gonna do it though. Okay, that's all. Let me get dressed now. Just a couple more things before I head out. I did get an Amazon package yesterday with some vitamins. So I'm gonna open it and then take some. I got these cause I get pretty bad PMS <laughs> and I'm hoping that taking some supplements will help with that. So first I already have these one a days that I get from Costco, though I'm not very consistent with taking them. So I need to be a bit better at that. Next I have this magnesium and ashwagandha. This is apparently really good for like anxiety and stress and I looked at the percentages of magnesium in my one a day and it does not go over. So I'm good on this. Oh my God, these are massive pills. What, is that not a massive tablet? Dude, I don't know if I can swallow this. Maybe I'll just. Lastly are these calcium chews. These are also massive. This is two gummies a day. But these are already such large gummies. What in the world? The texture of calcium gummies are also always really weird. That's all, I didn't wanna go crazy. Just three types of supplements for now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my things and I'll see you there. Made it to Candlestick Park, the beginning of the trail. I'm gonna take some time to stretch out a little, put on some sunscreen, and then we'll be on our way. So far, this very nice, peaceful morning. I'm very nervous walking around by myself. I've never hiked that long. It's like more than a half marathon. We'll see how much I can get through. But yeah, let me just enjoy it, you know, whatever. Look, you can see the cow palace from here. Look, that looks like fennel. I'm less than a mile in and my nose is already starting to run. I thought I was over allergies. I've left nature and now I'm in corporate. Seems like there's a food delivery because it smells like cafeteria. And I thought about it and I was like, what smells like cafeteria? It's burgers. Burgers smell like cafeteria. 
I brought a little kombucha from Trader Joe's. This is Synergy and it's the peach paradise flavor. We're approaching Mission Blue Cafe and everyone says to stop here for coffee. So that's what we're gonna do. in and we're going up our first elevation peak I guess there is also an observation tower here but the door was locked so I headed on there's supposed to be a bathroom somewhere near here but I do not see one anywhere I guess we'll keep on going a little turtle family going on a walk nice you guys want to know what's stuck in my head right now <laughs> I don't know the rest of the song but that's just what playing in my head again and again hey guys is that what I think it is that was indeed a bathroom and I stopped by and I was impressed they even had soap the only thing they didn't have was like something wipe my hand so I'm just letting them air dry, but we're going on. I just got handed a pamphlet by some Jehovah Witnesses and at least they complimented my nails. <laughs> there were so many choices and I just ended up getting it old school. <laughs> Look at the pink house. Why is it so pretty? We're not gonna eat right away. I'm gonna look for like a good stopping point at a park or something. It's like noon-ish, but I'm still good to keep going for a bit. Also, I got complimented on my nails again. I feel like these nails are just like, they just get so many compliments. Chill house, you can find it at Target. doing the Crosstown Trail for the first time, almost at Glen Canyon Park. It's 1 p.m. exactly, and the map says that I'm about to go up some big hill. So once we reach the peak, I think it's a good time to take a break, eat lunch. My feet are starting to hurt, but that's okay. We'll take a little break. And it's not too bad. I think I can keep going till the end. Cool rocks. It really doesn't feel like I've gone uphill that much, so I'm waiting for the sharp incline. Mmm, this dirt looks so chocolatey. Not a sharp incline, but I've been slowly going up. And I cannot wait to take a break and drink some water. But I'm determined to get to the top first. There's just this like abandoned looking basketball court in the middle of all these trails. I got out the other side of Glen Canyon Park, but there's nowhere to like sit or anything, of course. So I guess I'm just gonna walk to the next park. It's not too far, I guess, <laughs> but I'm gonna get to like the halfway point and still not have eaten lunch. It's like 1.30, whatever. Look how far we've come. Twin Peaks, baby. Oh my God, I'm supposed to go that way. How do I get through? <laughs> There's not even a walkway, so I just ran across the street. I can't believe I'm still going uphill. Oh my god, look, somebody has like 
a little fairy garden. Nice view, but no picnic benches or anything in sight. I'm not just gonna sit on the ground. Oh my God, guys, there's a bench. I'm stopping here. Not me just waiting forever for a bench. I brought my big boy water bottle. It has some lemon in it. Admittedly, I haven't had much but coffee yet. Hand sanitizer. I got some Dutch crunch. It's pretty good. A little salty. Look how much meat there is. There is a ton of meat. The more I eat of this, the more I'm like, it's so salty, what the hell. I gotta eat, like, I'm gonna eat it, but god damn, that's a lot of salami. Dude, I don't even want to eat anymore. It, it's just too much. I also know I'm gonna have to use the bathroom because of how salty it was and how I just drink some more water. But the next bathroom isn't for like another hour. It's, it's at like Golden Gate Park, the next one, so. Let's head to it. I'm also like so unprepared for how windy it is here because I didn't think about that I would be stopping in such like a foggy spot. It's cold, like I, this is, it's, I'm still cold. The next hour is just gonna be about me trying to get to a bathroom. Also, if you decide to do this, don't be stupid like me and please wear long pants. Note to self for next time, wear long pants. Look, they still have little signposts. On we go. There's like a gorgeous little garden greenhouse over here. turn and guess what that's the turn made it oh my god you know i've seen quite a number of these on the path see anything interesting Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, hello? Oh my god. Dude, I don't have anything to leave behind though, but it's beautiful. It's okay, I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. Just checking in. It's almost three in the afternoon and I've been walking for about nine and a half miles. I have another flight of stairs. I was not ready for how much the stairs would kill me, but let's do it. There's some stairs here that are not on the route, but I just need to sit for a moment. I need to like massage my feet because my feet are giving out first. My legs are fine. It's like my ankles. Yeah, that's about what I expected, but I'm really excited. We're gonna get to the 16th Avenue step soon and I've been wanting to go to that for so long. I'm not cute, so I can't take like super cute photos and stuff, but it'll just be so nice to like see the steps and then maybe some other time I'll go back and actually do like a proper photo shoot. I'm wearing my new Saucony guides.
my sister a photo of myself on the steps. And you know what she said? This girl said I reversed my glow up. <laughs> wow, sorry girl, I'm on mile 11. Thanks a lot. But also peep how the makeup is staying on. My mascara is not running yet, which is great. Okay, there's more stairs and actually they're tiled too. And these look a little different. I like these, they're so pretty. I'm now on Irving Street and I'm going to stop by Pineapple King Bakery for some pineapple buns. Heard they're like the best ever, so I'm super excited. It took like forever, but the goods are required. I want to say that took like 40 minutes at least. So popular. Now I'm just gonna have a walk to Golden Gate Park. I'm in the bathroom. Holy shit, guys. I mean, thank God they had a bathroom and it worked, but like one of the toilets was literally flooding the bathroom. So I was like peeing and then like my my shoes were like in water literally. So <laughs> thank goodness these shoes are water resistant. My feet are not wet. That was so nasty. Okay, now to just enjoy my walk in the park. Oh my God, guys, I was so excited to pee and then so grossed out when I finally did that I forgot I bought pineapple buns. <laughs> so let me find a spot and I will try them out with you. All right, I found a bench. I'm right by the lake actually. So here's what I got. I just got the guava butter pineapple bun. Cause I heard from Feed Mei Mei that that's the best. So I, of course I had to try it out. I've never had a pineapple bun with butter in it, but I'm hungry, so let's give it a try. Mm. Okay, yeah, that is like really good. Like insanely good. That cookie kind of topping is already so buttery and crisp. And then the guava flavor is so strong, it's so good. I thought it would taste too buttery, but it doesn't really taste like butter, it's more like creamy. I don't know how to explain. Totally worth the wait. That was a much needed snack break. Oh my God, so good. We're now on the home stretch um, on mile 13. Just like three, 3.2 miles left. So we'll just enjoy our walk in the park and then head towards Land's End. I will say it's been really cold. If you do this, I would recommend you bring a thicker jacket. I got warm at the very beginning, walking through all the gardens and stuff, but from that point on, it's just been cold. It was at this point that I couldn't find the turn that I was supposed to make. All I could see were bushes and trees, but I didn't see any pathway that I was supposed to turn onto. I even walked a bit back and forth, but still didn't find the turn. So when I kept walking, I eventually found the log cabin shown on the map. And then I just cut through the grass and found myself on the path that was shown on the map. So no idea what happened there. The next stop was the John F. Kennedy Promenade, where a lot of people like to do their running, biking, or skating, etc. in the park. The trail took me across the road to the Rose Garden, where I of course had to stop and smell the roses. It's fun to see which ones are going to be really scented and then which ones are not. Look at that color, it's gorgeous! But after wandering around the garden, it was time to move on from Golden Gate Park and head towards the street noise of the Richmond. I feel like I'm just hobbling at this rate. My feet hurt so much, but I'm determined, determined to get to the finish line. I had to take so many breaks around the last few miles. It definitely took the longest, but I was worried about hurting myself. Doing my best. It's six o'clock, everything hurts. My knees hurt, my joints hurt, my feet hurt. Walking on flat land has never been so hard, but I'm almost to the Presidio. It's been eight hours since I started walking, okay? My back hurts from carrying this backpack for eight hours. So these last four miles are being brutal. Here we are at the Presidio. The sand on these trails actually helped a bit with my feet hurting, but it was still really hard at this point. 
not me questioning whether I can make it to the end without permanently injuring myself. Oh my god. It's so bad. Also, it's like 6.40 and I've gone maybe a mile. So I might get to Land's End at sunset around like 8 p.m. at this rate. I found a tree stump. I'm just gonna have to keep taking breaks and I'm at the low point, so I still have some incline. But this should be the last incline of the day. Less than two miles left. I will get there and then I will happily die, but I will get there first. Thank God for park benches. What would I do without them? 1.6 miles left to go. I'm taking a little rest and then gonna finish it. I really had to take this last bit one step at a time and just focus on my next step rather than the whole path. You can see how many steps there are, but thinking about just the next step and the next step really helped me around here. I guess I did actually arrive at the lands and look out about 20 minutes before sunset, but it was so cloudy that you could barely see a smidge of warmth in the sky. I thought the sun had already set, to be honest. Oh my god. <sighs> I literally don't think that I will be able to walk after this. Oh my god, okay. I'm here, I did it, I'm here. I did it, I'm here. I made it. I'm at the end. I finished it, I finished it. Okay, it's over now. It's all done now. Oh my god.